welcome back to another sims 4 speed build so i'm so sorry I, okay i didn't take that long of a break i took like two days but i was i did promise the cyber city the following day after the mid-century build but then it's like coming out two days later so i do apologize for the delay for this i was planning to upload this on friday then take a two-day break and come back to it but then when i was filming the cinematic intro for this <laughs> The amount of times The Sims did that really annoying I can't go there side, it made me think some very um, interesting thoughts and interesting ways to get rid of those Sims. It wasn't The Sims' fault, it was my fault. I built it in the way that I built it. Building a city is never easy. And then with all the intricacies of where I placed the stairs and the doors and sometimes especially with the studios the placement of the showers because you would think that a four by four and um, four by four two by two shower is plenty of room and it is plenty of room especially when you have the ability to use the snowy escape or the university life showers that don't have the doors it's, it's really great in that aspect but um because it was the working with such a tight space it wasn't really allowing me to do what i'm what i wanted to so what i would have imagined is that the the space between the toilet especially since you can move the toilet really close to the wall i imagined that the sims would be able to go through that gap and go to the toilet and then go to the shower and have all those accesses but they couldn't and that was no fault but my own so it was like a lot of after it was a lot of like yesterday so saturday it was a lot of me just trying to go through the sims and trying to see um how can i shift things around and i have tried to play test everything to my best capabilities but if there's anything missing or if you notice any issues please do tell me also there can be the possibility that since i do use move objects on that um if you download this lot that the um objects that i've used that sheet on my shift a bit it always tells you in the sims when you download a lot that's use move objects on that since this person is use move objects on ea might shift some of the objects a tiny bit when placing it into your lot but i have play tested everything and you can see in the cinematic intro that i have basically used everything i think um i did go into my primary like apartment townhouse mainly in the cinematic intro but i did go into all of the other studios and the other townhouses within the game to see how that flows and everything like that and everything was flowing quite well um the only thing that i'm not a hundred percent aware of is um if you do choose to go into because i left i decorated all of them not as intricately as i would normally decorate my houses or my studios because the, the, the main apartment was the one i showed you in the cinematic intro so that is the one that i fully furnished with my idea of the cyber city cyberpunk world but everything else is quite like it's almost um decorated to the extent of how ea used to decorate those houses it's very simplistic very if you it's it's in a way that i imagine because it is my favorite apartment, the one I'm building currently right now, this one. I imagine that this is potentially what players may prefer to use, but you can use any of the apartments, obviously. But I think this is like, this is a, again, another build for the Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack. But I imagine that if there was going to be one primary apartment that you enjoy, maybe it's going to be this one. So this one that I decorated to my full um, capabilities, what I truly would like of this space but truly you can just use any of the other apartments and it should be fine um in terms of like interior design and so it should be fine I, I think it's also really good in terms of if you're doing like a startup story i think those apartments are really great for that because you can really delve into the world of i've just started here and this is where i'm about to go and this is um what life i'm about to lead it's a very good starter home in turn like the studios themselves are very good starter homes for okay i've been placed into this world and this is what i'm gonna do next and all of that so i i think those studios are really great for that actually um the studio which one's my favorite the studio um you're gonna see it but there's a studio that's um next to the staircase that leads up to the bar 
That one is a ground studio. It's my favorite one. It's the most spacious studio. But I think there's something so beautiful about a studio that's ground floor and all of that. And I really love that studio. And I'm thinking when I do get the Sims 4 for rent pack, I'm, I believe that um, since you can rent out um, different areas, I, I believe hopefully there is the aspect of you can rent out your sims and play with multiple sims so for example instead of it's similar to what we can do in the university's roommate um part of it i i, I believe that we can have that aspect so you're not going to be they're not going to be an active member of your household but if you do go out into the manage worlds part thing you can also click on the lot and click play this specific specific family so for example if there is a family member called steve and there is a family member called clara i feel like in the manage worlds option that if steve lives in the studio i should be able to play with steve and but I can't just play with Clara. I need to actually go back into Manage Worlds, like I would do with different lots, and click Clara, and then now I can play Clara. So that's how I feel like it should it, it should form. I'm not too sure because obviously I get you no know, insights from EA, and I've been I've been trying to look at videos and updates and stuff like that. But everything can be pretty wishy washy, and I don't want to get my hopes too up with what the um, pack can actually offer to us because if it is just basically the university um, expansion pack just a bit more rather than its own entity I I don't want to get my hopes up too much with it so I've been trying to limit how much news I read about the expansion I've been just trying to like think of what I do know and what i expect and what i hope for and yeah i've just been kind of leaving it at that and just kind of just making apartments hopefully that should be able to function like imagine the sims come out the sims um come out and they say that um you're only able to have four houses like four different roommates like i think in um the university one is it eight roommates so imagine if they come out and say you can only have like four households and some people have built actual towns like i've built a town but i don't know if this is a to be fair this is um i've got a list of exactly what's in it but this is definitely more than four households this can definitely hold more than four households so just imagine the sims come out and say no we're do we're of where four household capability kind of um kind of um space i would just I, I think that would just cry because I, you know, I don't think I I don't think there's many that I've done that are up to four households. I don't think though I don't think the Sims will go that low with four. I think they might um, either do six or eight because that's what they've done before. And even with six or eight, I think that'll be fine just because the, you will have quite a filled out lot with six to eight households, especially if they're quite big households. Because I also think of oh wait actually. If I think about it, um, you can, um, I'm going to try and do the maths right now. I think at the moment in the Sims, you can only, if you don't have a cheat on, I think you can only have 20 Sims on a lot per time. So yeah, I think, uh, is it 20 Sims or 25? Like, it's in his 20s, I believe. I think you can only have 20 Sims on a lot per moment just so your game doesn't like too much from having like an overload of Sims. I think that's also why in high schools, that there is such little sims because not everyone's computer is capable so you kind of have to cheat cheat the game for you to have those um that many sims so if we take that into account 20 sims into one lot you also have to take into account you can only have up to eight people without cheating per household so you can only fit technically like the mean is like 16 sims per lot that's what the mean is but the max is 20 and yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I, I tried to do the math there, but I I, I barely passed math, so um, it's not going all too well. But I think uh, I think it'll be around about that area when it comes to max. But yeah, um, there is. So if I can, let me just go onto my notes app, and I have wrote down exactly what the specs are of this build. I've got an entire storyline for this build as well but um yeah so i believe that there are 
four studios in this build. So there is one studio at the first level UK wise or second level American wise when it comes to the first build. So if you see the first build where the convenience store is going to be, there is a studio apartment there on the first level that one can if you if any of anyone's like a really patient interior designer you can try and see how you can get a double bed to fit in there but if you do see um when i do do the interior this oh wait i think i don't record the interior design of it because i didn't record everything because altogether this was a seven hour build to do i'm not continuous obviously i can't never i can never do continuous but um it was a seven hour build to do so i did after i decorated one of the studios just stop recording because it was virtually the same stuff with all the rest of the things so i thought it was a bit te tedious for me to just continuously record me doing the same stuff i think um you guys would get the gist of it with one and i want to bore you guys to death with all of that and especially since they were all going to be like quite the same so i think there are four studios one on the first level of that first apartment also i, I want to talk about the first apartment in a second but um yeah that's the first studio and then there are two studios one on top of each other on the tower that leads up to the train station subway station railway station um waiting area on the fourth level so on the second and wait no it's the second or is it third no it is second and third on the second and third level of that tower there are two studios there and then the third studio is oh yeah the one that i talked about my favorite studio that's on the floor i was thinking to myself because originally there was five studios but then i thought there are i do a lot of um builds where there are like, too many studios and i feel like a lot more people are family game players or people who would have a roommate or maybe siblings or couples or um parents with a child like they, there's just normally more than one sim that people play with so i thought um or people want to play with a um people want to play with sims that could potentially one day become more than just what that sim is when they big i've i've overcomplicated that sentence <laughs> basically people sometimes play with sims where then they expand but stay in the same lot so someone will potentially move into this lot at um one of the big family um lots is near the front as well as opposite to the uh, convenience store on top of the noodles sh um shop that um someone could move in there by themselves and then expand and have a family there so i understand a lot of people do that sort of gameplay so i did try and do more um more builds within the city that allow you to have multiple sims live there so there is um there is two four level four leveled um houses townhouses apartment they're not apartments i think they're townhouses so there's my favorite one which is the one with the pink rails the one that you saw in the cinematic intro and then there is the other one that is close on top of the noodle shop where it's like there is the ground level first level second level and third level the third level for both the the fourth level actually for both the my favorite townhouse and the one on top of the noodle shop is a open plan so the one on top of the noodle shop that one will be you enter it and there's no door it's just that level so i think that would be best for the master bedroom if you want to do that kind of thing and then with the my favorite one it's an open level to the masters but you do walk through it to get to the bathroom and to get to the second bedroom which is the daughter's it is a little bit inconvenient when you think of it in terms of it is a little bit inconvenient when you think about it in terms of the daughter she's gonna not really the daughter and the parents are not gonna be that able to have that much privacy because she will always walk through um the room when she has to leave the house at all but with 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 um with a build like this you want to have it you want to have it have the same geometrical structure as cyberpunk buildings but you're not necessarily as able to have it um 
operates exactly like how it would because cyberpunk cities from the research I've done from it they are quite small in terms of spaces so with this build you won't be necessarily able to have the same amount of space as you normally would have in a normal build but I think that's okay as well and I think that allows it to um have a bit more creative storylines and more it's more of a very it's a very um unique build to add to your world um I did build it in my celebrity save but I think I think I'm like just remove it and put it into another save because the one the characters the sims look very characteristic they don't necessarily look as if they fit into the celebrity world because the celebrity world does have some elements of realism even as wild and wacky as they become they there is some elements of realism but within this world um i think her name what's for them i forgot the main sims name i think her name was no it's completely lost in me i'm so sorry natalie no that's it her name's natalie i think natalie would look very odd within the rest of the world because you know how sims just like to pop up between worlds i think if i went to my ship restaurant and i saw natalie there in her very alien-esque makeup i would actually it's very reminiscent of hollywood because it's very very unique and eccentric and very cool looking but in this hollywood save file i have most sims aren't that eccentric actually you know what instead of being very stereotypical and normalize why don't i actually branch it out and how because i feel like a lot of the sims i have made into celebrities are quite stereotypical so i think you know what i might just maybe not leave this particular build but because um you could potentially leave this build and just change up some of the rooms like the alien and the robot rooms and stuff like that and it'll look quite look quite cool it just looks like a city really but um I think I might actually keep the Sims in this world because I can imagine the Sims in this world because there is a variety of celebrities and they do have different styles. And I think Natalie's style is not that too not too unique within the celebrity world. Not even just the celebrity world, but the real world. There is like a lot of people who love makeup like that. So I think you know what, I'll just keep the Sims here, but I'll probably just change up some of the the lots and what they contain because they are quite eccentric and can we just talk about how good Natalie's makeup is I never really touched the alien makeup in the sims and I don't know why I never have before because I do love the alien one thing I'll say I do love the um it came with get to wipe the alien um eyeliner I really love out the eyeliner I think it looks so good and it's just it's 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 art in itself and I think that's really nice and I do normally love the blush, so but I never really have an opportunity to use it because I do have such boring gameplays. Like they're just so boring. But um, yeah, I think I really, I really do love her makeup, and I love using a lot more blues because again, I'm a beige type of person. Not in real life. In real life, it's all about the dark academia stuff and everything. But in the game itself, I'm a very beige type of person. So it was really fun to use all the blues in terms of cast and then use all the pinks in terms of um, the interior design and everything. I've only ever used um, wilder colors within the game when I did not even the mid century, the real. The mid century build is very, very tame. It's an average house. But I think I've done more like different aesthetic styled stuff when i've done the uh, i think it was the pink apartment i did earlier on it flopped so hard and i don't blame it because i did it for the sake of i wanted to try something else but you can tell it wasn't really authentically me when i did it because it was just a whole different vibe and it kind of doesn't make sense please don't watch it because i look back on the video and i think half of my interior design um choices don't make any sense because i've always wanted to test and try out and dip my toes in maximalism a bit more because i do quite a bit of not necessary minimalism but it's very neutral tones and very neutered and it's very 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 calm stuff so i wanted to do double in maximalism because the house i want in the future is very maximalist and when i one day hope to work with an interior desire but there is no way in hell that i would ever 
uh, have a house in the future and not have a trained expert te teach me and tell me about the way that a house should be decorated not only that but the feng shui of a house and everything like that i hope my future partner helps me in that instant i'm my family and my friends because i want a piece of all my loved ones in my house that sounds really odd i want like a um sentimental piece of all of my loved ones in my house so i want my friends to pick out like certain like knobs in the house and i want my parents and my other family members to pick a pick out like certain decorations like set of statues and stuff like that but at most i would love to have an interior designer that knows every single aspect of interior design to really help and guide me along with that future house because the, the vision i have in my head is maximalist but very quite dark with some dark gothic undertones to it but not too gothic because i'll be scared i might i'm a very scared person i fear everything so not too um too dark in that aspect we're very um you walk into it and you feel at peace you feel calm you feel you feel very it feels like you've entered this different world but it's not too eccentric that you feel like you're on a set it feels very homey but it feels very calm and the way the light bounces in certain rooms is just enough so it's not too bright that when you wake up it's very bright that and i said it before i don't like um having interior design designs in real life that are just too white or too beige because i fear how even with any situation it'll just look like dirty or it'll look like it's um faded like with a lot of whites you just have to make sure that you keep it up to s scratch with it you have to make sure that those whites don't um fade or get musky or everything like that all these other things that it's just such a delicate fabric and wallpaper that you really need to make sure it stays clean looking the way it is but the house that i want in the future is very emeralds and navy blues and dark maroons and all of that so with that you obviously you still have to make sure that you keep it clean but you can also make sure that you also don't have to fret too often at oh does that look dusty i don't think it's dusty but i'm gonna dust it but i'm not gonna be too much with it because i i, I can see that it's not that dusty like i'm gonna clean it but it's I'm not going to be too in my head about it because it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, so um, I really did go off on a tangent. I was I hadn't even finished speaking about the specs. Um, yeah, and then there are two three-level apartments slash townhouses in this build. So on top of the studio at the front where the convenience store is, there is a three-level apartment there. It goes from... What does it do does it go from living room to is it even three levels no it's not that is a lie it is a two level apartment yeah it, yeah it's two levels um it basically goes as a kitchen slash dining area and then it becomes a open plan bedroom and then there's one three level apartment that goes from a living area then it goes into a kitchen dining area and then it goes into an open plan nursery and bedroom that you can then one day construct it into becoming a separate bedroom and nurse and like bedroom and second bedroom when the child gets older it's just it will be very similar to my favorite apartment of this build where it will be a situation where you have to walk through someone's room to access the other room but um i shouldn't be too much issues also so that's the specs in terms of what's included in terms of the residential stuff um i will just talk a tiny bit of what's included in terms of the community stuff um there's quite a bit of community stuff because what i realized when looking through the comments of um my most popular build because i was wondering to myself what is it about this build that intrigues people so much because in my head it's just my everyday doing an apartment build 
but、um, one thing I notice is that people one they really love detail, and two people love multifunctional lives. I think someone also said in my Italian build that they wish there was a little cafe or something, and I regret that I didn't do it because I was thinking of doing a little bit of like in a cafe area or doing a little like you know food stall area because that would have looked so cute for my Italian townhouses build. But I just ended up doing it all residential. But I feel like with these apartments, it is nice to have some aspect of community there as well, because there's not too much、um, big、uh, residential areas that you see without any community things. Even if it's like there's no shops or anything, you will see like a park or something there. Like for example, I currently live in a huge residential area. Like I'm talking about, if you cannot access. Anything else, unless you have a car. And bear in mind, I live in Britain, so you can't act. But it's not. It's not. It's not like oh, it's oh, oh, it's like it's not necessary. The like the area I live in is like very、um, broad kind of area. It's more of like it's just. It's not even in the middle of nowhere. It is a ten minute、um, drive to the nearest place.、So、it's not in the middle of nowhere, but you can't walk it. You really can't walk it. So you kind of just have to、um, bear with. But what we do have. Where you can walk is a grass area, so you, we do have a grass area that you can walk to and you can take walks on if you like, and that is the community area. And we actually, we do almost. I'm completely forgetting that we do have a chip shop and a Chinese takeaway place not too far from here, but it's just because I'm not, I'm not, it's it's it, I'm not too aware of what the area has. So I'm、um, because I've been living in university most of my time, so I'm not aware of what this area has. But there is that. But again, it's not in in the UK. It's not you could you have to walk to most places. But there are like some places that are just a bit more challenging to walk. Like for example, if it's very very dense or stuff like that. But yeah, most residential area and it's and those places are still not within the residential area. Like for example, where we used to live, there was a shop right down the road. Like you go go down the road and go to the shop. That's what we will have as the community area. Or go to, like where I lived at university. I just had to walk two minutes and I was at like this whole takeaway district area. So it was and, and there were so many supermarkets and there was. There was there was so many forms of transport and everything like that because I lived within the city and like this and with especially within cities, there has to be a lot of community based stuff. So I did try to add that within the build of having those community based things. And there are more signs for community based things than there actually are community based things, just because with. I wanted to keep the main objective within this build to be residential, so it does. There are way more、um, community-based, the way more community-based signs than there actually are community-based buildings. And before I actually get into what community-based things there are within this build, I just want to say that it's very odd to me that、um, those lights we get in—I was going to say get out. <laughs> My mind is all over the place. Um, those lights we get with get to work aren't actually functional outside in the rain. All the signs are functional outside in the rain, except for those ones. So the、um, when you sign on top of the broken ATM,、um, the、um, the what else? There are there are other signs. I think there's cocktail signs and stuff like that. All of those signs aren't that functional. When it comes to the outside, and especially when it comes to raining, but every other sign, so the signs from Strangerville and all of that, they're all very much functional outside, and even the hospital sign is、um, functional outside as well. So just like certain signs, but I think it adds to the look when they are kind of、um, broken because of the rain. Because I tried to make it heavily rain for the cinematic shots, because there is not a single. Cyberpunk film, and I'm thinking specifically Blade Runner that I watched, where there is not some kind of rain or precipitation going on in the situation. That there's a lot of rain, and especially in cyberpunk、um, video games, there is always like it just always looks like it's been raining consistently. So、um, 
I I had to add the rain, but it did break some of the signs. But it, I, it they might be broken if you guys download it. I'm not too sure, but this should be fine. But yeah. Um, also, just on that note, before I talk about the communities that I've built here, um, if you would like to have the same effect as I had at the beginning, eco lifestyle and seasons will be your bestest of friends because eco lifestyle allows you to change the environment of what lot or neighborhood you are on and most cyberpunk cities that i was seeing on pinterest and stuff like that with all the electronics and all the use of all these gadgets and everything it doesn't have the best ecosystem so i really try to emulate that by using the severely polluted environment option within eco lifestyle and then just using the is it is it i don't know if it's mc command or if it's UI extension that allows me to click on the weather and change the weather and season on instant. So I did change the weather to heavy rain. It did stop after a bit because the Sims, they overpowered what I wanted. I made it sunny again. But yeah, I do think the heavy rain adds to it. And I also do think it does look good during the day. But I really love how it looks during the night. But anyway, I digress. Let's talk about the community bills that I made. So one of them is a mini hospital slash health clinic area. Um, I made this because I imagined in this world that I have created that access to a hospital is not the easiest thing to go to because everything is such so clustered. So they do have hospitals in this world that I've created in my head, but it's not easy to access because everything is so clustered and currency like currency in even now is very um it's a very big concern but in this world it's the currency is trade so it's even more inaccessible and it's even more like prohibited and stuff because they've also done the very capitalist thing of the currency is trade but it's illegal to trade that's the world i've kind of created so unless it's operated by the controlled system or the government of this world you cannot trade legally which makes it ex inaccessible for most people to trade which makes people not have the currency which means that they are not able to freely move around a lot so it's um that's that's it's it's very reminiscent of current realities of the world but um i did that in the sense of that's how i imagine it so originally i had a light system so I had that green light meant residential, red light meant that is prohibited. But these areas are not only checked often by officials who are like, it's mainly for the people. And then blue light meant it was prohibited and you were allowed to go there. So for example, the noodle, the noodle takeaway place and the, um, the corner stop, corner stop, corner shop is blue light. And I think so, no, the garage isn't, but the corner shop and the t noodle place is blue light because it is a prohibit, it is a prohib prohibited, no, it is um, a loud place of trade. So you can get your drinks, you can get your food and all of that. But the garage, because um, there is a garage just under this build, the garage is prohibited because that's a form of transport and you need to have different metallic materials to trade and this government that i've imagined doesn't allow that so it is a prohibited space the hospital is prohibited because they want you to use the utilize their um hospitals they don't want you to use your own health clinics so that is prohibited one of the really prohibited places is the um a robot shop so i do believe that this world has started to use a lot of technological enhancements to help them get through life i think you saw one of my sims was coughing in the beginning because of the poor pollution so they've had to utilize the aid of um tech in order to keep up with the bad environments and also with the fact that that if they get sick they can't even go to a fully functioning hospital they have to go to the health clinic that's down the road and that health clinic is only operated by one person so um there's that and then what else is there 
I originally wanted to do a motel on top of the hospital, but then I realized that, again, like I said before, I want to do bigger residentials in my uh, multi-residential lot. So I just ended up connecting it to the other one and making it a bigger space. So there's now two bedrooms instead of one. Um, the other community place I have is I have the bar area. So it's a very small bar. Um, but it has what you need. It's got the bar, it's got the drinks, it's got the um, darts, um, it's got a sofa over there. It was supposed to be a huge club scene, but uh, it didn't end up becoming that. And also, oh, I'm forgetting, actually, there's quite a bit. I'm forgetting, before you reach the bar area, when you go up the stairs, there is this little shack and there's a TV there. That shack is because I made it so TVs are prohibited. You know, um, if you notice, the only TVs that you see are either from shacks or you see a TV within this house that I've built downstairs that we're currently on. But the TV where they've placed it is on the bottom level where there's those very um, narrow, tall windows. So you can't actually look into the house and see that there is a TV there. So I've done it in that way. But yeah, that's why there's also that super serious security lock door to where the owner of that shack stores or the TVs because they do sell them and specifically the small ones. But um, it's not a is not a thing that is allowed within the society I've created. And also the last community one is right next to the garage. It's um, it's where you can go to get all your essentials. So they've got flowers, they've got they've got flour, they've got wheat, they've got um, they also sell TVs. They've got other things. They've got oil. They've got um, hair products. They've got nappies. They've got all those things. They've got more the things that the convenience store has. But the reason some people just don't have the currency to go to the convenience store, so they will go to the prohibited shack to obtain those things. But yeah, I think that's the storyline I came up with when it came to this world. And basically the people who live in it, I imagine, I'm not too sure about the studios, but I do imagine the people on top of the noodle takeaway place, the noodle shop, do own that. Um, so they are part of the um, wealthier families within this cyberpunk world. I also imagine the people who live in this apartment I'm decorating are quite wealthy. Um, they, even though they're on top of the garage that is prohibited, they're more of like, because I was, I was feeling a very Hunger Games mood, even though this is not the Hunger Games lot, I promised you all, but I was in a very Hunger Games mood. So I was imagining it in terms of districts and who's part of who and who's part of who. So I forgot her name, but it's the woman who does makeup that stuck with them till the end and, um, in the Hunger Games and then she ended up at District 13 and she got to lose all her makeup but she was still by the side and everything like that. Can you tell it's been a long time since I watched Hunger Games? I need to do a marathon before um, the film comes out this Friday. But I imagine that it will be a family like hers that lives here. So they want to help the people but they were born into the system so they've already got a lot of stuff. But I imagine the people who live on top of the noodle shop are also want to help the people in part of the system, but not as inclined. So I feel like that wasn't that there was another character that was kind of like that. Like they will help the people, but they also do just want to stay comfortable where they are. Um, the corner, the the I was going to call it corner store, the convenience store, which is it's, it's the same thing in England. We call it a corner store, but um. Oh, the convenience store, I'm not too sure who Owen said, but the convenience store is there. And I also, um, that's the families of those ha houses, I imagine. And then I imagine the family that lives next to the bar. So the family that has the nursery owns the bar. So it's like, it's a very entrepreneurship type of world that's going on. But yeah, we're almost coming up to the end of the video which is crazy because i can't believe i've spoke for 42 minutes you guys are getting very small videos from um now on for like at least the next four days because i've been trying to build 
after this and I just can't. I want to build another townhouse. I want to build, I want to refurbish and do my New York townhouse that I built a few um, months ago again. So it's better fitted for people who don't have CC. And I do want to make a full CC apartment. Like I full out luxurious CC apartment. But I think I haven't been able to fully commit. Like I've done like one hour, two hours of building, but I just can't feel, I don't feel the urge to fully furnish them because they are such big lots. So I will finish them and I will give them out to you. But I think I still want to build. I'm not building just for the sake of building. I still want to build. But I think at this moment in time, I'm going to build something smaller just because I want to build something and finish it rather than build a bunch of things. I think I started building like two things since I finished this video and I haven't finished them for the sake of they're just too big at the moment. Like I have to do something as big as this. I think you kind of have to go back and do something small. I think I did that before. I did a big build and then I did a tiny house. So you'll probably see the tiny house. You do a community or you'll see a community build because I've been in the very residential mind state. So I really would like mind state, m mindset. Yeah, mindset. So I really do want to do a um, either a community or a smaller build. But yeah, because if when you know that I'm thinking of uh, doing an airport at the back of my mind, you know that, yeah, maybe you need to stop for a second and do something a little bit smaller before you go tackle that on. Because I want to do it to the best of my capabilities. I don't want to I don't want to rush it and I don't want to um, half do it. I really want to put my all into it. Oh, yeah. So you do see me decorate the studio and I put a double bed there. It's not functional, so I do change it to a single bed. But it, it would have been a great thought seeing it as a double. But um, yeah, so we're coming up to the end of the video. It was so much fun doing this cyber city. And in the house tour section, you won't see every single room house toured because that would be absolutely ages. You will just see the main sections and then the apartment that I, the main apartment house tour. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. It's honestly been really fun to build this. I was so excited to do the cinematic intro. And it was, it, I'm just really happy that you all, you all get to have this now. I'm really proud of it. And I know I say it all the time, but this is my favorite build at the moment. So I really enjoyed. I also would love to, um, I would like to say to you all, thank you so much for 700 subscribers. Again, I'm truly humbled by all the amount of love and support you guys have been sending me and how excited you guys have been for my progression so far. So I'm really thankful for all of that. Thank you so much for staying for this long and listening to me ramble. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you liked the video. But if you don't, it's okay anyways, because I'm really thankful that you stayed for this long and listened to me ramble. And yeah, and also leave a comment down below. I read all of your comments, the more the merrier. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.